Oh well, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and what we have here is uh, the hard drive that I'm suspecting has a uh, head stuck on a platter so let's listen to the noise that it makes so it just beeps a little bit very quietly and nothing happens uh, when I connected that uh, it should have uh, given beep beep to mount on the computer so let's see what's gonna wait for us on the inside There you go. Just like I thought. Head is on a platter. Let's see if we can fix it. Um, now the reason this happens is uh, an error in a firmware of the hard drive where it thinks that it's falling and uh, it uh, I don't know if it starts parking the head and turn off the turns off the disk or maybe the error is in uh, um, the green star technologies where it tries to save uh, energy and uh, shuts off the disk puts it to sleep so one of those events, um, or maybe combined sequence of those events, will cause the hard drive heads to uh, basically get stuck on the disk themselves, on the platter of the disk. I like that word, platter. Now, is the clean room necessary? Yes. Do you need to torque the screws? Yes. That is, if you want to use the hard drive, if you just want to get data off of the hard drive, then it's not critical. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Spins up, mounts, and I can hear and see it working. So here is uh, um, under five minute repair. Uh, you would basically start getting a da data off of it and uh, go on your merry way. It seems to be a popular problem with uh, Samsung drives, but uh, this could happen to any hard drive at all. It should not happen to um, desktop drives. The motors in there are powerful enough to move the um, platters so that the head in the parking position is on the platter itself, so that wouldn't apply. Not to say it would never happen. It could. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody. Give me a thumbs up, like that. Subscribe and enjoy. Thank you.